Ladies and gentlemen, let's go racing here at Knoxville. Only the best go three of It is showtime at Williams Grove Speedway. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here at Eldora Speedway, it's showtime! Yes, you got a horror Often imitated, never duplicated, the greatest show on dirt, the world! Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy, because ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! Set to do battle for 30 laps, the green flag is waving! Hello again, it is MRN's Wing Nation Weekend, presented by Hefner Racing Products, setting you up for the big race weekend, and we have got a dandy on the docket this weekend. Lots of good racing across the country, and we'll talk about some of those races here along the way. Aaron Evernham and Steve Poston. Aaron, this is kind of an interesting weekend. We're getting to that point of the year where the weekly racing has certainly slowed yeah. down, um, but we're at that point of the year where there's some big ones yeah, big and shows some left. really big shows left. Uh, north of the border, Canadian Tire Sprint Car Nationals up at us weekend. Man, that, that's just one of those great places, mm-hmm. great racetrack. Glenn Styers does such a great job up there. That's that's yeah. a show place up there. Yeah, I love that racetrack. I always have, and they get such a huge car count because they get ESS and uh, NRA and yeah, so all those yeah. series up there. So it's a it's a turned into a huge event. It really is, and we're going to talk to Sam Hayfordeep Jr. He's up there. He got a little head start yeah, on him. I saw he that. snuck up there early and ended up winning Friday night. So he did a little uh, little recon mission, yep. and uh, so we're going to talk to Sam Hayfordeep Jr. about that along the way. The Outlaws are out west, Calistoga Speedway, the Wine Country Classic. I had originally planned on being out there. I'm kind of glad now with the hurricane rolling into here uh, <laughs> that I didn't make the trip because yeah. I probably would have canceled it along the way. But, uh, man, Calistoga, historic racetrack. We'll see what the Outlaws yeah. have against the California boys. It's a great facility, and it's beautiful now. The oh. Abreu family put a ton of money into it. And wine and sprint cars, I mean, to me... Yeah, yeah that's, that's just like that's a, the only thing. Right yeah, there. <laughs> well, exactly. All you need is dirt vision, but there you wouldn't need your dirt vision. So. Exactly. Yeah. I would much rather be there than then, in front of the monitor. There you go. Exactly. At Fremont, man, I'll tell you what the uh, the Jim Ford Classic. They always end the year with that big one, ten thousand dollars to win for the four tons, the fast series. So we'll talk a little bit about that as well. So a lot still going on in the sprint car world. So make sure this weekend you get out and support your local sprint car track as we continue on here in the twenty eighteen season. We need to step away when we come back sam hafer Jeep jr he joins us no matter what or where you race hefner racing products and hrp wings has you covered built in the usa hrp is the manufacturer of the original recessed rivet wing including their premier shark wing series as well as the new racer series sprint car wing hefner racing products wings are available for sprint cars mini and micro sprints winged outlaw carts and junior sprints hrp is the leader in mule conversions manufactures and sells a full line of sprint car components including nerf bars and bumpers front axles precision laser cut chassis building tabs brackets tubes and spuds hrp has the absolute largest selection of trailer and shop accessories available to sprint car racers when it comes to setting up your trailer or shop hrp is the choice for the best in trailer and shop storage and organization accessories hefner racing products visit them and shop online at hrpracing.com now back to the wing nation weekend podcast presented by hefner racing products We are glad you joined us. Of course, our friends at Hefner Racing Products, www.hrpracing.com. That's hrpracing.com. We talked about this at the top, the 14th Annual Canadian Sprint Car Nationals, Oshweekin Speedway. And joining us on the hotline right now is the 2011 winner of the race, Sam Hayford Chief Jr. is on the line. Hello, Sam. Welcome back to Wing Nation. Yeah, it's good to be back on. Thanks for having me. Well, first off, we'll talk a little bit about the Canadian Sprint Car Nationals, which is coming up this weekend, but uh, you got a little head start on everybody. Got in there Friday night. Uh, tell us about the run on Friday night and, and and why it was important for you to get a little head start and get up there and uh, see what you had for this weekend. Uh, you know, we just got another new car uh, with special paint scheme and things like that for the Canadian Nationals because, you know, this is a big race for our car owners, so uh, we just wanted to shake it down and, and uh, you know, kind of see see what we were going to have and going into this weekend. Sam, you've run this race a number of times, obviously previous winner. Uh, talk about how much this race has grown. I know I went to the first year, and now it's it's blown out. There's a huge car count, great event. Oh, it's awesome. Uh, just the format, everything about it's uh, pretty neat. And 
what's the coolest thing for me is that you're racing against a bunch of guys that you don't normally race against. So, uh, you know, and, and these guys up in this area, are, you know, they're, they're pretty respectable. You know, the, the slick track that they have up in this area here in New York, uh, you get a lot of guys that uh, are really good on that, those kind of surfaces. And, you know, that's the kind of guys you're racing against. So it's really cool to compete with different guys that you don't normally get to race against. Let's talk a little bit about that, Sam, because you're right. It's a very good point, and you're you're used to racing out there with Johnny and Wayne and and Blake and and Seth and guys like that that you race with all the time. What is the challenge? How how do you? Is it different racing a bunch of guns, bunch of guys where you don't know their tendencies? Well, that too, and and you know these guys out here tend to be really good on these type of racetracks where they get the, the different type of slick than you know what we're used to. So. It, uh, they, these guys are really tough on those kind of surfaces and you know we've been we've been good enough in the past to you know to get the better of them but uh you know they're they're definitely uh definitely really tough competitors and and uh, they they definitely get their cars really nice Sam, you hit on it before that this race is really important to your your team owner. Uh, the Hill Racing family is based uh, right around there, I believe. Uh, talk about what it would mean to them to win the race. Oh, it's huge. I mean, uh, you know, we're obviously we're bringing a special paint scheme out. Uh, you know, they they uh, they bring a couple other drivers up every once in a while as well. So, you know, it really means a lot for them to to win at this place. And uh, you know, hopefully, you know, I'm, I'm the guy that's able to do it for them. Boy, that would be sweet. That really would. And there's ten thousand dollars on the line as well. That never that never hurts either. Sam, when we look at your season, of course, uh, you're a full time campaigner with uh, with Emma Hans Lucas Oil ASCS National Tour, leading the point standings. Uh, for you know, first you getting getting this hill racing car going and rolling along. How would you how would you assess your season? You 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 content? You didn't win every race, so I know you're not ecstatic with it. But are you content with where you're at, or what what types of things have you gone through? Uh, you know, I'm content with the the speed of our race car. Really content with that. Just uh, just not, you know, we just had a lot of like we're in the years past where it seemed like a lot of things went our way. You know, they haven't went our way this year, and you know, it's just part of racing. Sometimes it's like that, and and you know, we just had a little bad luck here and there. You know, maybe some some you know errors by by us on the car a few nights and not finishing races where we should be, and you know, things like that. And it all adds up. And, you know, <clears throat> we look at the season and we don't view it as a successful one, but, you know, we still got seven point races left and, you know, we've, we've got a lot of speed. So, you know, my confidence isn't down at all. We've, we've got, uh, we still got the tools and, and uh, we still got the time to, to wrap this deal up and, you know, hopefully we can, you know, run these last seven points races and, and, you know, make it happen for the third year in a row. For sure. Sam, how difficult is it to run the ASCS National Tour based out of Canada? Maybe you have a shop, a satellite shop somewhere in the U.S., but how difficult logistically is it for you? Uh, I guess the hardest part, you know, for the team is, you know, getting parts to Canada. I guess that would be the hardest part. You know, that's that's the, the troubles that we deal with. You know, it's just it's really tough to to get the parts over the border and, you know, pay the pay the tax to get across the border and stuff like that. So, you know, that makes it uh, makes it a little more difficult. But uh, <clears throat> while we're in the states, you know, we can normally manage things pretty well. So it's not it's not too difficult when we're in the states. But there's definitely uh, a lot more things to deal with than what people realize. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking about it. We look, we look at the news headlines and tariffs and trades and everything else yeah. and countries and stuff. I'm sure there is lots of challenges along the way. Well, Sam, uh, we appreciate the time joining us here today, and uh, we wish you the best as you go for your second one. Put that Hill family on the podium up there uh, in Victory Lane on Saturday night with the uh, Canadian Sprint Car Nationals. Thanks again for the time, and uh, best of fortune this weekend. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you. There we go. That is Sam Hayford Jeep Jr. He's going to be tough up there. He oh, really yeah. is. Yeah. But I think he, st- he he hits on something, and I, and I want to talk about this race a little bit. It is the 14th annual Canadian Sprint Car Nationals, okay? And, and I think to Sam's point, what makes this to me so uh, interesting and good, good is not the right word, great or awesome is yeah. the right word, is the cooperation of all of the tours. Yeah. And I've said this all along. We talk about there's a hotbed of racing here and a hotbed of racing there, okay? You can't do this, obviously, but if you took Lake Ontario out, okay, if you removed Lake Ontario, yeah. I am telling you, you have a 360 hotbed up there. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. That would rival anywhere in the country mm-hmm. because you've got the Patriots, you got ESS, 
You've got the, the uh, SOS, the, spri- uh, yeah. the Southern Ontario Sprints. Now you've got this big, stinking Great yeah. Lake in the middle yeah. of it that they have to drive around all the time. You got NRA, you got URC. There's right, yeah. exactly. So I, it's great. Yes. Also, think that Sam mentioned a great point that a lot of those tracks they race on are dry, slick. You know, he races all over the country with the ASCS Tour that they see a variety of different racetracks. Yeah. But if you look at the previous winners there's a lot of local you know guys in that area obviously shane came in a few years and won uh, parker price miller carson macedo but the majority of the winners are actually more local guys yeah exactly and and when we look at this uh yeah brian holland has picked up a win yep. jessica zemkin has won steve poirier, poirier has won it um he's won it uh three times yep. along the way back in 2008 wayne johnson the inaugural winner was kenny jacobs yeah picking up in the my win. old car that was a, a mike go. woodring car mike yep. woodring car so uh, but i think the thing that that i just love about it is the cooperation you have five tours Okay, and they actually all have contingency awards. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Isn't that cool? Empire Super Sprints, Great Lakes Super Sprints, National Racing Alliance, that's the NRA, the Patriot Sprint Tour, the Southern Ontario Sprints. So there's five series and the regular Osh Weekend Cool Kids Core Pack 360s. So there's six groups that somehow manage to work together yeah, look at for that. this race. And it yields 60, 70, 80 cars, yeah. depending on the year. And it yields just great racing. Yeah. So, and you often get guys that come from the national tour that sneak right. over in other Absolutely. places. Yeah. Last year's winner, Carson Macedo. The year yeah. before that, Parker Price Miller. As we mentioned, Shane Stewart is a three-time winner of the race. Uh, back when he was running more of the 360 stuff. But he would take time. The The ASCS tour, for whatever reason, seems to always be off this yep. weekend. And that's where Shane came up there and dusted him off a few times. Yeah. Um, uh, great stuff. Great, great event. Now, it starts on Friday. Okay, with the Burger Barn night before the Nationals. They run twin 15s. Now, have you ever been to Burger Barn? I have been to the Burger Barn. I have been to the Burger Barn, too. You know what I had to eat there? What did you have to eat? A burger. It's a Burger Barn. Cheese? Yes, cheeseburger. (laughs) Yes, exactly. Uh, The Burger Barn's phenomenal. Yeah. I mean, what a great spot. Everything that Glenn does, he does it right. Yes. I mean, the whole facility. Right, absolutely. So the Burger Barn, night before the Nationals, twin 15s for the 360s. uh, That is, uh, ladies and gentlemen, get those elbows in the air. Because you only got 15 laps to do it in, okay? And on Saturday night, the Aero Express Canadian Sprint Car Nationals, 10000 to win. This is U.S. dollars, uh, $1,000 to start. That's um, a lot to start for a 360, 360 race. Yeah, so great, great job up at Oswego and Speedway, and we certainly wish everyone the best. I, I know I say it all along, if if that, it's a bucket list race, I, I don't even know. The, the The problem of it is is that my bucket is just <laughs> – I mean, I don't overflowing with. Yes, races. it's just like I would I could I could take a year and try to check off 300 bucket list items and I'd have 600 left. I mean, it's just crazy. So uh, it's one of those I'd love to catch sometime, but we certainly wish everyone the best. OK, now let's talk a little bit about Ohio. OK, the 11th annual Jim Ford Classic presented by JHL General Contracting at Fremont Speedway. Friday night, 3,000 to win. Saturday, 10,000 to win. Um, it was announced last week that uh, Rich Farmer, this is going to be his last race at Promoter. Um, Rich, is, uh, Rich is just a local businessman yep. that's done well. And just kind of, I think, it reading between the lines, kind of got to here um, with it. Um, enough on the plate. And, uh, and and I know even in one, uh, we, we had wished him the best and some fan chirped off and uh, said something. And Rich said, yes, part of the reason why I'm stepping away is, is, is fans being being just rude. Just uh, there, there are some people on social media that are just plain rude, okay? Uh, sprint car fans, NASCAR fans. Polit- political fans, whatever it is, some of y'all are just rude out there. Nobody <laughs> watching this show, of course, but some of your friends are rude, okay? Um, so, But Rich Farmer came into Fremont, Fremont, and I think he's done a lot of really good stuff there. Um, the, the, the criticism on Rich is he doesn't, he, he marches to his own drummer. Uh, that's a criticism, and that's a strength. Yep. And I think that's great. Yeah, he had a dust-up with Tony Stewart, and the All-Stars don't race there. I know everyone wants the All-Stars back at Fremont. Stay tuned. We'll see what happens. But I'm telling you, I've chatted with Rich on this show, and I've chatted with him in person a couple of times, and there is nobody that has as much passion as Rich Farmer has. And so 
Uh, everyone get out there to Fremont this weekend. Uh, send him, send the drivers, send everyone off in great fashion. It's the uh, Jim Ford Classic. And uh, stay tuned. Rich might have some other things that he's working on along the way. But uh, we, we wish him the best. Um, you know, one of, the, one of those guys that uh, just has done things his way. And uh, there's some of the things that he's done his way that have been really, really good and great for the racing yeah. at Fremont. And I know I've got a lot of friends that race up there. And there, there's... There, there, there's always those that can't wait for the promoter to go, and there's a lot of people up there at Fremont that sit around and say, man, that guy did a really good job, yeah. and ultimately at the end of the day. So we tip the cap to Rich, and we hope that everyone has a great race up there, the 11th Annual Jim Ford Classic presented by JHL Contracting for the Fast Series. Uh, we talked a little bit uh, earlier this week uh, with Rico, uh, the Wine Country Outlaw Showdown at Calistoga Speedway for the World of Outlaw Craftsman Sprint Cars. Uh, last late night dirt vision. Then they move east, thank Phew. God. We love you California folks, but you keep us up way too late. <laughs> um, Calistoga, now this gets interesting. We talked on Tuesday about the uh, the California racers and the little bull rings. Uh, well, this is not one of those yeah. little bull rings. Oh, so faster. we'll see what happens. Uh, but I know the California racers are always ready for it. And so it's uh, going to be a fun, fun weekend for the World of Outlaw Craftsman Sprints. The Articat All-Star Circuit of Champions, Friday night. They're at Outlaw Speedway. Speaking of dry, slick. Northeastern yeah. Racetrack in Dundee, New York. And on Saturday, Sealands Grove, another one of the big ones, the Jim Nace Memorial, $10,000 to win up there. Last year's winner was Brian Brown. Yeah. Yeah, Brownie's sticking around in that. Pennsylvania. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, selling uh, T-shirts. Yeah, selling T-shirts and uh, winning races, taking trophies away from the posse. So uh, Saturday night, Sealands Grove, that's going to be a great one. I love Sealands Grove. I uh, love what the Articat All-Star Circuit of Champions are doing. Uh, another one of those, let's get together. And uh, and put on a big one. It's going to be a throwdown, and we'll see who does what up there at Sealands Grove. IRA Bumper to Bumper Sprints, Friday night, Clay County Fair Speedway in Spencer, Iowa. And Saturday, Deer Creek Speedway in Spring Valley, Minnesota. Other 410 racing, Friday night, Jacksonville, Illinois, the MOA Series will be racing. The NOSA Sprints are back at River City Speedway. We'll see how bad they boo Dobmeyer again. This. Our, buddy Dob- our buddy Dynamite. Some of y'all up there don't like him. Can't imagine that. We love Dynamite Dobmeyer. Yeah, but when you start dominating, well, that's there, was a little, what there was a little dust up and on. There was a little dust up along the way to that eighty two hundred dollar big check on last Friday night. So uh, that's on uh, Friday night, River City Speedway. Friday night, also Williams Grove has a complete program. Saturday night, Atomic Speedway in Chillicothe, Ohio, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania Motor Speedway in Imperial, Pennsylvania, and St. Francis County Raceway in Farmington. Missouri. Some great racing action in the 410 world. Uh, Lucas Oil ASCS National Tour is off this weekend. Um, Next weekend, the Jesse Hockett, Daniel McMillan Memorial Lucas Oil Speedway. Um, uh, Wayne Johnson uh, is on this weekend. We'll talk about that a little Mm -hmm. bit with uh, Jesse and Daniel. He's on our Mav TV show. We'll talk about that a little bit. So the uh, ASCS National Tour is off this weekend. Regional racing action Saturday night. Arizona Speedway, it's the Southwest region in Queen Creek, Arizona. Uh, Saturday night, also Golden Triangle Raceway Park in Beaumont, Texas, Gulf South region. And uh, uh, Red River region and Mid-South region, they team up at I-30, Little Rock. A lot of drivers going in there, getting ready for some short track nationals. So um, I think that Saturday night race at I-30 is going to be pretty good. I think that's going to be stout. I really do. So uh, we wish all of our ASCS regional tours Uh, Good luck and good fortune and sunny skies, blue skies, and sunny weather along the way. Um, You can catch, of course, uh, one of the places you can go to if you're you're not where a race is, um, you can go to wingnation.com and look at our broadcast calendar. And we have all of the pay-per-view and listen-only and audio versions. We have all of that available as well. Uh, I want to also give a shout-out before we get out of here to our friends at Hepner Racing Products. Uh, I haven't caught up with my buddy Jeff to see what he's racing along the way. I know he's running Legends cars and a mini sprint along the way. Um, I'm not sure what they're doing up there in the Beaver Dam area. So, uh, But you can find out, and you can certainly order some stuff up at www.hrpracing.com. That's hrpracing.com. We talked about this just a bit ago, but uh, coming up is the Jesse Hockett, Daniel McMillan Memorial, and one of the drivers we talked about, uh, we, we, we talked to about that is Wayne Johnson. He's a former winner, and Wayne is going to join Ashley Stremme and myself on Saturday morning 
It's MRN's Wing Nation, presented by Sage Fruit on Mav TV, eight thirty and eleven thirty Eastern Time. And uh, you can catch up with Wayne, see what's going on in Wayne's world. Hey, <laughs> thanks for joining us here this today. This has been the Wing Nation Weekend Podcast, brought to you by Hefner Racing Products. The Wing Nation Weekend Podcast is a production of the Motor Racing Network. All rights reserved.